Hello everyone, welcome to Anime No Me, and thank you for joining us for another One Piece video. This year has brought some of the biggest revelations in the story of One Piece, where least of which we just found out that Luffy's fruit was not a paramecia, but a mythical Zoan fruit for the sun god Nika. This devil fruit being considered legendary by the Gorosei, because more than 800 years ago, they still haven't been able to get their hands on this enormous power. But recently, we just got a short trailer for One Piece film Red, which is a movie focused on Shanks. Now, we hope we get a little bit more information about his life, but really from the beginning of the first trailer, there really wasn't any major information released or what the main subject of the movie might be. But now that we have the second trailer released, and in it we have some amazing information about what this movie could be based on. It'll be a story about the relationship between Shanks and his daughter Uta, a daughter that has never before been revealed to us in the history of One Piece. In today's video, we're going to talk about this new trailer for the One Piece film Red, who Uta might really be, what her goals might be, and why Shanks may have left his daughter alone to sail with the crew he created. But before we dive into the video, if you're new to the channel, we'd be absolutely honored to consider leaving us a like or even subscribing with a comment letting us know what you thought of the video. It really helps us out and motivates us to make more content. And if you'd like to help out the channel in a bigger way, consider sharing the video with a friend. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So friends, as the trailer starts, we see two people looking out at the sea. And one of these people we can easily recognize him because when we hear his voice, we recognize that this is none other than the captain of the red-haired pirates, Shanks. Standing next to Shanks, we see a young girl, but we've never seen her in all of One Piece. But Shanks does seem to know who she is. In this scene, Shanks says that even though they may be far apart, this girl would still be his daughter. Now, whether she is his blood or not, we really don't seem to care, and it doesn't really seem to be important to Shanks' life. During this farewell scene, we see Uta crying, and according to the trailer, this scene seems to indicate that she was wanting to go with her father out to sea. But in that same scene, we also see someone holding her back and stopping her from running towards Shanks, and very likely it may have been her mother. And many fans have speculated that since they have the same physical characteristics, that she may be Shanks' biological daughter because of the red hair. Although Uta's hair is red and white, we do see that the tone of red is very identical to Shanks. Now, the white part may have either been dyed, or it may have come from her mother, who still hasn't been revealed in any of the trailers. We don't know if the events of the movie will be fully canonical, but we saw that the story was written by Oda, which indicates that many of the events in the movie may have references to events in the anime or the manga. In other words, even if the story doesn't take place in the same official timeline, the movie may still contain hints and explanations that are valid for the canonical One Piece universe. Considering the type of events that might happen in One Piece film Red, it may be that Shanks only plays a very small part or just as in side flashbacks in the movie, while the main character will be Uta, who was introduced as the redhead's daughter. After her farewell, we see Uta again, but now she's older, with a different kind of headset than the one she used to wear during her childhood. But it seems that her personality and appearance have still still remain the same, showing that she is a very kind person. And this kindness is amazing, considering she was abandoned by her father, who decided to sail around the world in search of some unknown goal. But it looks like in this movie, we'll finally have the true revelation of Shanks' goals. In the trailer, we also see that Uta is considered the greatest diva in the world, and most likely is that she's some kind of singer or artist on a certain island, much like kind of Brooke was during his Soul King days. But this also explains why she has a headset on her head. We also don't know if Uta's talents are natural, or if she has the power of some kind of devil fruit, because at a certain part in the trailer, we see that she's screaming and a large wave of wind is formed in front of her. This may show that she possibly possesses a power related to her voice, a power that we don't know if it's powerful or not, since we don't really see her power hitting an opponent, but we also can't rule out that it could be quite devastating. Either way, Uta is the main focus of the movie, so we may see many pirates after her because she may have too much power, or just some kind of diva, or they want to use her for ransom, or she may be in danger because she's the daughter of Shanks. If a pirate crew did manage to capture her, it would force Shanks to risk his life to try and save his daughter. So this might make a really good opportunity or reason to see that Uta gets kidnapped in the film. And this plot would bring Luffy and the Straw Hats in because they may be stopping or trying to interfere with Uta being captured. And since Luffy has a great friendship with Shanks, it would allow him and his daughter to kind of create a bond while saving her from other pirates. There's also the possibility that Uta is the villain of the film. After all, the trailer really haven't shown any of the real story yet. In the trailer, we do see Luffy shouting Uta's name while running towards her, and he was preparing an attack. Now, we don't know if it was to hit an opponent or if he was facing Uta. We're shown different scenes where we see Uta jumping up and down and even showing a serious expression. But what's most surprising to us is that we see an Akainu enraged by some event that occurred. This could even have something to do with the fact that he finds out that Uta is Shanks' daughter. From Akainu's expression, it may be that some kind of plan didn't work out 
out, or Luffy interfered and saved Uta during an earlier scene, or some moment where he's about to attack someone. In this movie, Uta and Luffy seem to have formed a great friendship because we see them together in several scenes, like where they observe a beautiful crystal landscape together. Now, it's not yet known where this place is or what significance it has, but it may be very important to the movie. During the trailer, we also see little small flashes of other important characters we've seen several times throughout the story of One Piece, and they may even have large roles to play in the movie as well. The first to appear are Law and Beppo, who are dressed quite differently from the way they usually show up in the manga. And apparently this outfit is to listen to Uta's songs during the show that she must do on this unknown island. In another scene, we see that Kobe is standing next to Helmeppo, while Luffy was saying that Shanks was being too nonchalant. However, at this point, we doesn't seem to finish this speech, and most likely he's saying this because he had abandoned his daughter in the past, or let his daughter go to do something she shouldn't do. Since Helmeppo is holding a Den Den Mushi in his hands, it's very likely that he is in contact with the Marine for information on what to do in this mission. And we don't know what the Den Den Mushi in this is, since it's different from all those that we've seen before. The snail, of course, might also connect to someone very important within the Marine organization, because this person is passing on essential information to Kobe and Helmeppo, and they may be there to capture Uta. Bartolomeo is also shown in the trailer, all dressed up with a tattoo that says Uta, and so it's likely that he went there to listen to her sing as well. In a quick flash, we see that his fingers are crossed using his barrier barrier fruit, and it may be to protect himself or even Luffy and Uta for some enemy that might be in that location. And this may be actually after the alliance has already been formed between Luffy and the pirates, so they could have actually filmed this or placed this later in the future. Soon after, we see an angry Luffy saying how Shanks was being indifferent to the actions of his daughter, hinting that Uta might be the real villain of this movie, or at least doing something that Luffy doesn't agree with. The whole plan could be to get her father's attention, or could be just something that Luffy doesn't agree with. But either way, Uta wouldn't be doing it for selfish reasons. Because if all the time she appears in the trailer, she seems to possess a gentle and considerably kind of sweet personality. She also may have a really great love and really great longing for her father, so her goals may be just to find some way to get his attention. We see that after Luffy shouts Uta's name, she starts crying a lot, proving that she's not really the big villain of the story, but maybe she just has goals that, again, Luffy just doesn't agree with. Or it could be that the tears are from something that is horrible or something that Uta is scared of. Either way, we'll hopefully see more when another trailer drops in the future. And at the end of the trailer, we see rain clouds that slowly lighten up as Shank's voice comes in, saying it words to his daughter Uta. And in a very calm way, he tells her that this world is not a fair place. After that, we see Shank's face with just a slight smile and Uta looking at someone with a serene expression. After that, the trailer fades out, confirming the release date and some small drawn images. Like all One Piece movies, although they're worth expecting a different tone in this movie, there's likely to still be some great battle. But we don't know who the real villain is or even where Uta and Shanks fit in. Since the flashbacks are briefly shown in the trailer, we don't know what the sad event Uta experienced was before she had her parting with Shanks. But apparently this motivated her to create a plan that was put into place in the film, and which in the end may involve revenge. But bringing it back to something I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there's a possibility that Shanks will just be kind of a background story for the whole movie. That he may not have a major role to play, and just we won't see many of the revelations or kind of backstory or even future kind of hints about where our redheaded Yonka was going to go. But even if the movie is just based on Uta's story, we're still going to get to see some great moments where she spent time with her father Shanks and also could see what motivated him to leave her in a place where she could be with someone other than him, likely her mother or some other character yet to be shown. But with all that said, what do you think about it, my friends? Let us know in the comments below what you expect from the movie. Do you think Shanks might just be kind of the setup or a plot device? Or do you think he'll have a larger role to play? Also, what do you think Uta is going to be doing and where might we see her fit in all of this? Like I said, let us know in the comments below. So as we wrap up the video for the day, we want to thank you so much for watching until the very end. Make sure you comment in any themes or ideas that you'd like to see in future videos. And also, since you made it this far, make sure to give us a like as you head out to take on the rest of your day. Hope to see you all in our next video, and let's keep sailing this giant sea together. Take care.